Hello, hello. Welcome back. It is Dana. We are here doing the Mick season one, episode four. It's called The Balloon. Last episode was um, Mickey trying desperately to keep Sabrina from having unprotected sex, which I'm still not buying the fact that she was actually having all of this sex unprotected. She doesn't seem like the type to do that. Um, but it, regardless, but it totally backfired and Mickey and Alba tried to convince her she was pregnant and then the dude proposed and then they decided to get married and then they said, well, BT dubs, you're not actually pregnant. And she was like, do you still want to get married? And he was like, yes, of course, I love you. So it totally backfired. But um, I'm loving this show. I think it's hysterical. I love everything about it. For the most part, I don't know that I love that Jimmy, is that his name? The sort of boyfriend is back in the picture. I liked it better when it was just her and the kids and Alba, but regardless. Also, last episode was Chip desperately trying to get girls to kiss him and also get a vasectomy? I don't know. It's weird, but rich, weird kids do weird, rich things, I guess. So, I think that's pretty much it. So let's get into this. This is The Mick, Season 1, Episode 4, The Balloon. Well, it doesn't take a genius <clears throat> to see Ben's veered off the food pyramid. Mind telling us what you've been swallowing? Not a whole lot. A pack of pencil sharpener, that cabinet knob, some matches, that was mood ring. You have okay. to stop eating things that aren't food. You ate an entire bag of birth control pills last week. Iron stomach, so as long as he passes the objects, there should be no problem. Really? Oh, that's great. This is awesome news. Thank you. This He's eating everything. Issue. Has Ben undergone any recent trauma? I mean, well, barring his parents getting arrested and fleeing the country without saying goodbye, I think it comes to mind. You think you're up to the task? No. Yeah, totally. It's just, it's been a little bit of an adjustment period, mm -hmm. but I can, I can do this. I got this. No, you really don't. I see you had a birthday last week. You guys do anything fun? He had a birthday? Mm-hmm. Big fun. Ate a lot of birth oh, control geez. pills. You ate the keys. Jesus. Oh, God, I... No, I do not want to watch this guy cut his toenails. I don't want to do it. No. No, I'm not doing it. No? It's not yeah. Like you were too busy to remember your little brother's birthday? You didn't remember. Uh, yeah, he's... Uh, At least I'm new around here. You're his siblings. Hey, don't you're see? Siblings. Enough! That's right. Jimmy, you're killing me! I'm sorry, who is this derelict and why is he still here? I, yeah, I agree with you, Sabrina. Hey, back up. <laughs> what you guys do for birthdays around here when you were his age? Uh, well, I flew 15 of my closest friends to Paris for Fashion Week. Took batting practice at Yankee Stadium. Gross. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <clears throat> Maybe you could just let him eat everything in the house. It's your birthday! Oh! Yay! How old am I, Tony? That's on him. He's got <laughs> I mean, as long as your actual mommy and daddy aren't there. I just want to know what kind of stuff you like. Uh, lots of stuff. Mice, my mini pony dolls, syrup, <laughs> the Iraq war, getting rolled up in the carpet like a taquito. Gosh, that gives us a real good jumping off. I don't know what we're supposed to do with that. Get ready for the best party ever. Woo. Yay. Don't eat anything else. Oh, you idiot child. Let me just stick with what's worked for millions of years. Cake clowns balloons. Yeah, but it's not broken or replaceable. Cool. Sully the clown! The guy's the best. Who? The clown? Sounds pretty lame. No, I don't disagree. Not guys like the Mick Jagger clowns. I don't Somebody think there is a Mick Jagger of clowns. Going off on the lot on again, those on your birthday. And we wish we knew the age of your birthday. <laughs> Alba. <laughs> No, 
really? How did this happen? You don't have any money. I assume the accounts are all like frozen. What the hell is this? Well, we decided we couldn't let Ben's name be on the marquee of your crap fest, so we stepped up and threw him the party he deserves. We did. We basically threw the best party ever. How are you paying for it? I couldn't care less about it. What? Come on, he's surrounded by ten grand in gourmet candy and he's eating crayons? Yeah, well, don't take it personally. His heart just isn't for sale. Oh! Oh no, this is going to be bad. What the hell is this guy? What do you mean? It's Sully. Sully, this guy looks like hell. Oh, you should have seen him an hour ago. Oh. Some coffee, right up. Your guy you don't stupid. look hey, great, sir. I'm an unproven entity. Let's see now. Oh, 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 oh. Did you just rip a bird out of the sky? Yeah, he did. <laughs> way to say that I got him, a real pony, which where are you getting million. this no. money from Just, uh, tell everybody to meet out I feel fairly confident days. that when that your parents get arrested for like tax evasion your accounts all get frozen who's paying for all of this all right what do we help me up on this thing all right oh Jesus oh 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 <laughs> So are these the guys that are watching the house? But I gotta bang out my pre-show ritual first. Uh, uh, uh. Green room. Oh no, man! This other kind of rooms do you have? For you, the bathroom. You'll be back in two minutes, or so help me God, I will take the cake off the table. Or maybe we'll never see him again. Who here likes surprises? Uh, <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, you guys sit tight. I'm gonna run and get the best surprise in the history of birthdays. Oh no. Your surprise is gone and down the street. No, don't get off. Why didn't you think to call anyone sooner? Check. Sabrina. Oh, I've never had no. Oh, no. Oh. Let's get on with the clown show. Oh, we would love to, but you 86 the clown. Remember when she made us get rid of that fun clown? She's going to do fun clown stuff. I remember. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there are a lot of problems happening right now. Oh shit, the clown's dead. One dead clown? <laughs> yeah. You asked for somebody I like that guy. Oh shit. Oh. How? How 
are you gonna do that? All right, what are we doing? Oh my god. He's maybe seven. on the ground anyway. How did you get the cake? Didn't Alba drop the cake over the balcony? Nothing good can come of this. Oh, 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 the pony's back. Pretty sure Ben can't eat the pony. Oh! That's why he's my guy. Oh, Jesus! For so long, hey, Sully, and then yeah, yeah, shit right. just keeps happening. So after all this, there was nothing to really be concerned about. Ew. Not wrapped very well. A postcard from Iraq? I'm from Iraq. Mommy and Daddy are sorry they couldn't celebrate your birthday, but we miss you and love you very much. Don't be fooled by her good looks. She's actually smarter than all of you. completely insane completely and utterly insane I mean I don't know like I, I said I can't figure out how like the premise of this show it feels like the premise should get worn out fairly quickly which is also how I felt about not what's eating Kimmy Schmidt but whatever the Kimmy Schmidt was show I'm like, this premise, like, it can't go on forever. And I stopped watching because I felt like, all right, I'm, I know what's happening. I'm done. She's not naive, whatever. And I keep waiting for that to happen with this show. And I know it's only been four episodes, but 
it doesn't really seem to matter. It isn't really the fish out of water situation so much that's driving the show anymore. It's just the fact that everything that happens is batshit crazy and that she's hysterical and um, the kids are funny and I generally am not a person who likes or enjoys shows with children because I'm not really somebody who likes kids. Um, but Sabrina's basically an adult. The little kid, uh, Ben, Ben is, uh, Ben's funny. I like Ben. I could do without What's-His-Face, the other one, Chip. But he doesn't, like, ruin things for me when he's on screen or anything. But I'm really enjoying it. I'm so excited that it continues to be funny. I don't know how long, but it does drive me crazy that, um, they have no money. If they have been taken for tax evasion, all of their accounts are frozen. Where are Sabrina and Chip getting all of this money to plan this gigantic party? Now, I can understand how Mickey can have money to buy, like, a cake and a fake clown, but they threw, like, a legit ten grand birthday party. Where is that money coming from? I don't know. One of the things about TV that... Um, it doesn't drive me as crazy as some other people, but, like, it doesn't really bother me, like, <clears throat> people were, uh, tend to get upset that, um, people on TV have, like, apartments they can't afford, and they go out all the time when they don't have jobs and stuff, and I understand how that's sort of, like, annoying, but that's not really a thing that bothers me. That's like a, you have to sort of suspend disbelief a little bit to do that, but I feel like this is the point of the show. Um, and there's like FBI watching the house. So you know that it has to be like involved somehow. There is zero way they should have any access to this money. So it's bugging me a little bit, but not so much that I'm not going to watch or it's just something that I think about when I'm watching, but it's still a great show. And I think it's funny. And there are so few comedies. I feel like over the last couple of years that I've watched that have actually made me laugh instead of me being like, huh, huh, oh yeah, like actually laughing out loud. And it's this that I'm really doing it with and the Mindy Project right now that I'm really doing it with. So I'm excited for that. I think that's it. I hope you had a good time. I certainly did. So hopefully I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.